All right, we're in the kitchen ready to inspire you on this Tuesday morning and we're making a very popular Korean dish known as kimchi jeon or kimchi buchimgai. And it's a Korean savory pancake uh, that can be enjoyed as an appetizer or a light meal. And these flavor-packed pancakes are super tasty and easy to make as well. And we're elevating it by serving it with some classic roasted duck. And this dish will undoubtedly slap with flavor. Michaela is here in the kitchen. How was my how was my Korean pronunciation of the dish? Did it? It was good. Oh yes. Yeah. Whew. Because when, when you went. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I butchered when you, it. When you said the second part, I was like, "Oh, hey, hey, hey. I've been to Seoul, you know. I've uh, oh, I've walked the streets. Fun. I've walked these streets. Okay, nice. get me into this recipe uh, since jokes. we are celebrating all things pancakes today. Yeah, pancakes. I love pancakes. Do you? Yeah. Do you not love pancakes? I absolutely do. How do you prefer yours? Um, Taiwanese style with green chives, and they're crispy. But, um... Savory pancakes. Savory pancakes wow, are boss. That's a thing. Okay. So you've got These some... savory. Some flour. And what did you add to it? Yes. So we have some... You can either use rice flour mm -hmm. or um, potato starch. So we have some rice flour over here. And we already have our pre-roasted duck. You just want to take two legs with the thighs, uh, score them, roast them in the oven. Mm -hmm. Um, with some coarse salt and then shred them afterwards. So nothing too complicated, that. that's no, the easy part. No, not at all. Then we have a bit of sugar just to add some contrast to the savoury. We right. just have a bit of salt. And we have some baking powder. Cool. Just as mix all your dry together. Yes. And, and then, then we have kimchi. Kimchi. Ho ho. Do you like kimchi? Listen, so... A lot um, of people don't. Yeah, when I had it in Seoul, it was more of a culinary experience, a new taste. Yes. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan and would have it, like, regularly, right? It's like a lot of people don't like sauerkraut either. It's like yeah. on that verge of fermented food. Exactly. It's just yeah. not my vibe. So we have our kimchi, some gochujang, some fish sauce. What is gochujang? Gochujang is... Uh, so gochu are chilies and then gochu paste. Uh, so it's chili paste. Chili paste. Gochujang. Yeah. Okay, exactly. Got it, got it there. So, ooh, I'm missing. By but the way, you, kimchi, mm. is that difficult to make? Uh, it is it? actually quite a process. Mm -hmm. um, if you do it the traditional way, it takes a lot of time. You have to, um, sorry, uh, prep your cabbage. Yes. So you have to soak it in a lot of um, salt to mm -hmm. break down the, like, structure of it, just to, like, get it a bit more crisp, I guess. Yes. Um, and then you ferment it for at least a week. A week. Okay, what are the core ingredients of kimchi? You said salt, cabbage. Oh, cabbage <sighs> is the main one. Then salt. A lot of garlic. Lots ginger, of garlic. Ginger. Um, then some spring onion. Spring onion. Uh, then you also use a lot of chilli... Um, Chili flakes. Okay, and then you just like let it sit there for as long as possible. For men, <clears throat> for a long time. I think some people add fish sauce. Okay, okay. Um, but don't quote me because I'm not trying to ruin Korean Family culture. Family traditions. <laughs> 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 but of course, so once you've made it, how long can it sit there? Uh, it can last for up to a year, but I don't think, wow. or actually even longer. It just gets better the more you allow it to ferment. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So, pancakes on the pan. It's going. It's going to go. So it's going to keep letting that sit. Maybe and we should make a done, bigger one. This is what we're looking for, right? Something yes. along the lines of this. And into this, are we going to add the duck? Okay, I'm going to let yes. you do the assembly here because I, I fear I might just so, make a huge mess of it. Actually, no, let's let you do it. Okay. Okay, so take your mayo, use that as your base first, okay. and get it on down there. <gasps> it was just not cooperating at first. Can I go here? Yes. Oh, look at that. Look at that stream you have going on there. Hey! Well done. Okay. Very happy mayo. Then, add your duck. I'm going to add some duck. Nice. Are we adding it to the one side so we can roll it? Um, I was just going to do uh, You know what, let me not make style, it too complicated. Yeah, like do that. it that way. Don't overthink it. Healthy portion. And then we're going to add a little kimchi. bit more of this kimchi, right? 100%. More kimchi. More kimchi. More kimchi, more better. <laughs> Let's, yeah, let's let that <laughs> marinate for a little bit. Let it ferment for a while and see how it catches on. Oh, my goodness. Okay, oh, oh. just like that. Get it in there. And then the rolling technique. Let me see what the end product looks like. Okay, it's rolled nicely. I'm going to start on the meaty side. Oh, I think I might have overdone it. Can you overdo it? Possibly. 
Do I have something to hold it down? But this looks really good. No, I think I did just well. Just keep, keep rolling it until the open side is at the bottom. Yes. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, it's perfect. Where's my... Give me this. Presentation is important. Ooh, lovely. Damn. That roasted duck. Whoa, it bangs. Ho ho. All right. Check out the recipe on the website. Nice. Espressoshow.com. All kinds of things. Pancakes today. It's a dish. Which, a beautiful... Oh,